A newly revealed frontal photograph of China's advanced sixth-generation fighter jet, known as the J-36, has ignited fresh discussion among international defense analysts. The image offers the clearest look yet at the aircraft's massive nose cone, which houses what is believed to be the largest radar array ever mounted on a tactical fighter. Measuring over one and a half meters in diameter, the radar is estimated to rival those on airborne early warning platforms in terms of aperture size, suggesting extraordinary detection capabilities. The J-36 exhibits a number of design choices that mark a significant departure from prior Chinese aircraft. Notably, it features a side-by-side twin-seat cockpit, a configuration rarely seen in modern stealth fighters. This setup allows both pilots to share a wide-angle field of vision while improving tactical coordination during high-speed operations. The broad canopy stretches nearly flat across the top, resembling the contours of a futuristic flying wing platform. Specialists observing the aircraft note the aerodynamic profile is optimized for high-altitude, high-speed flight, with a focus on low observability. The absence of vertical and horizontal tail surfaces is a dramatic design decision, replaced instead by a set of 10 split control surfaces along the fuselage. This tailless form contributes to a sharply reduced radar cross-section, potentially as low as 0.005 square meters, placing it below many current-generation stealth aircraft. Beneath its formidable nose structure lies a highly integrated radar system. Defense estimates suggest a primary nose-mounted active electronically scanned array ASA, radar, supplemented by additional phased array panels beneath the fuselage, providing 300-degree coverage. These systems are likely supported by electro-optical sensors embedded into golden-colored panels near the front of the aircraft, intended for passive target tracking and missile guidance at long distances the jet's radar capability could be transformative. Early assessments propose the J-36 may track targets up to 500 kilometers away, dramatically exceeding the reach of systems onboard platforms like the J-20. Analysts emphasize that such detection power could allow the aircraft to engage adversaries before being seen itself, a defining feature in future air dominance scenarios. Propulsion is another area of innovation. The J-36 reportedly operates with three turbofan 15C engines, collectively generating over 40 metric tons of thrust. This tri-engine arrangement is rarely seen in fighter-class aircraft but may be intended to support high-energy weapons or sustain supercruise at speeds exceeding Mach 5. Video footage suggests high-altitude maneuverability remains strong, with the aircraft able to execute rapid turns and unconventional flight patterns at over 20 kilometers above ground level. This propulsion setup is supported by a hybrid air intake system, blending diverterless supersonic intakes DSI, with dorsal-fed inlets. Such a configuration allows for smart switching between low-altitude power and high-altitude efficiency, delivering flexible performance without relying on adaptive cycle engines. The unique rear intake also appears coated with specialized materials to limit infrared signature, contributing to the aircraft's full-spectrum stealth characteristics. The interior of the cockpit demonstrates a degree of crew-centered design rarely seen in stealth platforms. Space has reportedly been allocated for basic sustenance and hygiene modules, likely intended for long-duration missions exceeding 3,000 kilometers. Observers interpret this as evidence of the J-30 SIXS intended role as a persistent strategic asset capable of long-range operations across the Pacific theater. Weapon loadouts seem equally ambitious. The aircraft's internal bay measures over 7 meters in length, sufficient to house large hypersonic missiles or heavy standoff munitions. Additional bays under the wings can accommodate further payloads. Reports also suggest the fighter may be compatible with air-launched ballistic missiles, granting it reach over 3,000 kilometers. Analysts note that such capability could allow rapid targeting of remote airfields or forward-deployed military infrastructure within minutes of takeoff. The platform's multi-role functionality is further enhanced by its onboard control systems. With one pilot managing flight operations and the second coordinating a network of unmanned aerial vehicles, the J-36 is positioned as a node in a larger combat system rather than a standalone platform. This model echoes the evolving doctrine of manned unmanned teaming seen in next-generation Air Force strategies worldwide. In operational terms, the aircraft appears to straddle the line between fighter and bomber, offering long-range precision strike capabilities with the maneuverability of a tactical jet. Footage from its test program, conducted at increasing frequency, shows the aircraft executing advanced turns and complex flight paths at speeds and altitudes previously uncommon for air superiority fighters. 
Its performance envelope and onboard technologies point toward an aircraft built not just for combat superiority but also for survivability in heavily contested environments. Radar scattering fuselage treatments, plasma-based stealth systems, and highly integrated electronic warfare modules suggest the J-36 is engineered to overcome dense air defense networks. While other sixth-generation programs remain in early conceptual phases, the emergence of a nearly operational J-36 prototype marks a turning point. If current capabilities hold true under operational testing, the aircraft could represent a significant shift in regional air power dynamics. Its progress will likely accelerate efforts in competing programs as other nations reassess timelines and resource allocations. As test flights increase and additional data becomes available, the international defense community will be watching closely. The J-36 may prove not only to be a technological statement but a strategic one, signaling a new era in aerial deterrence and airspace control.